Hey superstars, I know it's a late night, late Sunday um, live um, because, uh, well, it's been one of those amazing crazy days where I've helped a friend move house this morning, um, went and moved a heap of other stuff, unpacked, moved and things like that and then um, came back for my um, my housemate's son's birthday um, and then ducked over for a women's meetup appreciation group and spent so many hours there with some of my favorite people um, you all know who you are including one of my girl crushes and chef crushes Dominique chef Dominique she was there for the day I was like oh my god but um, I just wanted to get on I've had a lot of my diplomat fellow friends in the PH community who have been asking for some um, tips and tricks on diplomat detoxes I'm on currently on day 11 um, and one more day to go um, so I thought I would share some tips on how I've managed to make this one the most pleasurable and the most successful one I've done yet um, so if you're a foodie stay tuned if you are someone who's now this is not for everyone please understand that everything I speak every bit of advice that I give is based on utilizing someone's personal specific profile this is not for everyone um, everyone who I've tagged in this has their own specific genetic profile that's been done for them um, and they will be utilizing my tips with specifics that are required recommended for them within their app um, within their profile um, so I'm going to generalize it and then I'm going to obviously you guys who are listening are going to know who those in the diplomats um, health type are going to know to reference their own PH360 app um, and understanding what that is if you want to know more about that please reach out and ask questions and we can have a grand conversation about specificity and true personalized health so for the diplomats I know that generally with our 12 to 14 day detox it is um, and this is for everyone it's 12 to 14 days of no protein no fats no carbs um, or no major carbs the only carbs you would really be having is some fruit in the morning um, and maybe some root vegetables at lunch so what do I do for a detox for me, um, it's meant to be salads for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Um, one thing I have found is that um, that works, but I tend to get very hungry in the mornings, um, especially because at the moment I wasn't able to do a detox where I was able to rest and digest. I've actually been quite fully under the pump with work, with relationship stuff, with a lot of stresses. So I understand that my brain and my emotions are going to be utilizing and requiring um, a lot more energy than you would expect. So, hey, Emma. Hi, hi. Thank you for jumping on live. I'm just talking. I'm only just getting into it, so you haven't missed too much. Um, so for me, Yes, so diplomats are meant to have free salads per day, um, but what I have found to be really, really beneficial for me is I freaking love, um, I haven't got it in here, I freaking love um, smoothies, and I find them super easy, I can take them with me, I can gulp them down in between clients, in between conversations, and that's really, really helpful for me. But the thing about the diplomat health type is that we need to masticate, we need to be chewing to, to achieve our alpha state and to assist our digestion. Um, it is the absolute bee's knees. It wakes up our stomach, helps our brain, helps our state of happiness. So the way to get around having a smoothie, so for diplomats it's meant to be, um, uh, it would ideally, the perfect one would be a salad in the morning with some chopped up fruit on top, um, a salad at lunch with some chopped up root vegetables of some kind, which for me at the moment is, top, is pumpkin. Um... And then dinner is just a vegan fine salad with um, just lots of fresh vegetables, nothing um, high calorie, nothing high sugar. Um, Yvonne, I find green smoothies easier too. And just chew them. Yes, here's a cool tip, Yvonne. Thank you very much. Is that, so here's my smoothie for tomorrow. I have a disgusting, it's not meant to happen, but it is now my current situation. Um, it is my current situation, not forever. Is that I have to be at a five o'clock class running from five to nine a.m tomorrow so I have my smoothie prepped all ready to go everything's in the car all I have to do is roll out of bed throw my face on and get into the gym and sit there and just instruct people in the gym in my sedated state um, but my my entire detox process I have done these smoothies now inside of this is celery carrot cabbage spinach kale 
um, blackberries because the blackberries are my top. Uh, I also have in there some fresh thyme, some cucumber. And now that would taste pretty yuck, right? Most of you would be like, that's disgusting. But the trick is... You all have the, you know, your super greens. You can buy you buy your super green powders, and they are the dehydrated, constituted. Um, I put you put on a face. Yeah, well, I go. I'm instructing in the gym, Yvonne. So I put a little bit of makeup on, or else people are going to be like, what? The so I I do the decency for humanity and, and put a bit of a face on. Um, but so um, with those smoothies like that, is that it can taste pretty horrible, right? All those vegetables, you'd be like. Bleh. But the cool trick is if you get your super green mixture, so if it has all of your greens dehydrated, if it has some fruits and vegetables, generally it has a lot of your red fruits and vegetables, your green fruits and vegetables, and it's going to be naturally sweeter. So I use a big tablespoon of that inside of my smoothie so that, um, so that it gives it a more pleasant taste. And then the trick around that is that I then add in it some whole blueberries, afterwards so once i'm finished once it's blended i sprinkle in some fresh blueberries and at the moment cacao has been high on my list now yes while you're detoxing you should be off of hey karen i thought you might like this oh sorry ken you thought you might like this um while you're detoxing you shouldn't be on caffeine but cacao is rated so high for me at the moment i have actually been utilizing the cacao nibs in my smoothie, just a half a teaspoon to create some crunch and some chew um, in my uh, smoothie. That's a personal choice of mine. You don't have to. I've also added lemon into my smoothies and lime into my smoothies quite frequently, just a half a one. So all my green vegetables, all my yummy vegetables are in that. I've got, once it's finished, I've thrown in some blueberries or blackberries or chopped up orange. Um, I often would put fresh orange in the smoothie as well and then like do a part of it just chopped up chunky so that while I am drinking it, I have to chew each mouthful because there's chunky things in there. But I'm still sneaking in a whopping amount of really great goodness in there. Um, so my day is starting out pretty epic, right? Then I do have with me, because at the moment my top are... These are my two top fruits, blackberries, blueberries, peaches, and plums. So because I'm doing a fair bit of work where I'm giving a lot of my energy and a lot of my con my focus to my clients one-on-one -on -one, one -on -one and in groups in the gym, um, I'm still doing PH360 one-on-one -on -one consults with these people in the corporate space, um, and I'm also doing a lot of fitness stuff. So I'm still needing a little more energy. Yes, it's not preferred, but... While I'm detoxing, I have chosen to bring one of each of these with me during the day. So if I find myself flailing and flatlining, I can have one of these each. And I know that I'm having top foods for me right now, genetically, in this time, in this weather, for my specific body type. Um, what time for my smoothie, Ken? Good um, question. I make it um, and I will generally drink it. If I feel um, hungry at 8, I'll have it at 8. If I feel hungry at 9, I'll have it at 9. If I'm feeling epic, I'll have it at 10. I'll have it at 11. Whatever feels good for me. Um, hi Yvonne. Yeah, I'm off to bed soon too. Um, then my lunch is generally, I would get this container here every three days and I would make up a giant salad. So in here at the moment, I have um, radishes, I have fennel, I have carrot, I have celery, I have fresh thyme, I have fresh oregano. Um, it's a bit of a bland one, that one today, but the, the last few have been pretty great. I'd chop up in there some kale. Um, I'd chop up in there all the top fruits and uh, all the top um, leafy vegetables that I can have. Um, and I'd have that in one container. And then, so all my fresh stuff. Then in another container, I would have my steamed or cooked vegetables. So... Um, I would have in here my steamed broccolini, my um, steamed, um, what have we got, steamed broccolini, I would have steamed Brussels sprouts, I would have um, some steamed pumpkin, um, and some steamed leek has been my absolute favourites, and I've been using those in my salad, so for lunch, and then dinner time I would have the salad without any of the pumpkin in it because that's quite a high GI and at night time we want to keep it super low. Um, making sure your salads are really really big and then to add flavour what I've been doing is um, getting some fresh tomato, some fresh garlic, some fresh ginger, some fresh um, 
all these sorts of flavors with some lemon um, I managed to find at the local Indian store a bunch of um, dry powder spices so you can buy your garam masala made up in a jar as a paste but it's got a lot of fat in it so if you can go to an Indian spice shop and buy up some of your garam masalas your laksa all your different um, curries without having the fat content so it's just the dry herb then what you can do is you can add that into a jar with some uh, the top vinegar that's on your list or some top uh, whatever top um, acid so um, for me it's been apple cider vinegar and lemon juice or lime juice uh, add a bit of water in there um, and if you want to get creative you could even um, get something like some steamed or roasted carrot and add that into it and blitz it down and make it into a sauce and use that as your vinaigrette slash dressing on top of your salads. Um, that was always a really, really good one for me. Um, another nice dressing is actually just some steamed fennel, um, some mustard, uh, steamed fennel, mustard, lemon juice, um, some of the garam masala powder, um, and a bit of vinegar and just use that and the, the, the fennel and the steamed leek, sorry, as well, give it a really, really lovely flavor and that can go across your salad just to give it some flavors and whatnot. And then dinner time, it's really about having a lot of, um, leafy greens, um, and if at any stage you do get the sugar cravings, you've got your peaches and your plums or whatever your top fruits are, but you can also sit there and um, I did have one day there where I was like, I'm going to murder someone if I don't have chocolate. <laughs> so I actually grabbed a little um, magic bullet and I grabbed a big handful of spinach. I grabbed a big handful of my top berries and fruits and a teaspoon of cacao powder and um and mix that together and had that that was like my saving grace so you could be absolutely rigid but i find if you make it too rigid you're going to rebel and you're going to get resentful so um just find the things that you can have that are a little bit naughty but have them like cacao we just want to stay away from too much stimulants the other thing that's been a saving grace is ensuring that you have a selection of teas so go buy any flavored teas that you like. Um, I always have Rubos. Um, I always have the sleepy time tea. I always have chamomile. I always have green tea. I always have oolong tea, um, chai tea, all these ones that are at the top of my list. Um, while I'm detoxing, I have these because they help get me through. And at nighttime, when you're having a nighttime um, salad, quite often you'll get cravings if you're a diplomat because we are so sensual and we give all of our time and energy at during the day. Um, honey is definitely not on your list, Ken, um, while you're detoxing. You want to be staying away from those sorts of sweeteners. Um, like I said, um, you may have missed it earlier, get the super greens powders. Um, some of them have got fruit in there that has been dehydrated, which adds a sweetness um, that makes it really, really palatable when you're having. And that's the other thing. If you're having a sugar craving, um, get your super greens powder and just mix it in some water and have that. It usually has a bit of sweetness to it, a bit of sweetness, sorry. Um, and that will be quite palatable and quite satisfying as well. So lots of fluids, lots of teas, lots of um, salads, lots of leafy greens. Um, yeah, shit, Ken, I know, I know. But it's only for 14, 12 to 14 days. Um, this one's been really, really pleasant. I've managed to lose six kilos in the entire time. Um, and I feel fantastic. Um, my, my thinking's been pretty good. There's only been a couple of times I've gotten a bit bit um dopey um and naturally during the beginning when you're coming off of your normal behaviors you will get a bit of a lull you will get a bit of a headache if you normally have a bit of caffeine um and you will get some flat points but it's about being kind to yourself a de detox is really 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 important um that you you are gentle and kind to yourself because you will feel flat at times and you have to communicate with those around you and let them know that if you're not feeling well or if you're if you're snapping or if you're a bit faint or if you're a bit um, uh, distracted, it may just be that and for them to be patient and kind with you because it's only two weeks and you'll be back to normal. Um, but I feel fantastic. I am going to, so tomorrow I've got dinner with a girlfriend. That's going to be me coming out of it, but we are going to go, I will always eat um, vegetarian to vegan at night time. It's been my, my new mantra since I ever found out about my genetic profile and understanding what's truly good for me, um, is I always eat vegetarian vegan at night time, which is serving me so well. Um, I don't miss out on anything. The best time to go for dinner dates or go for dates with me is, um, lunchtime because then I can eat the menu. Um, but yeah, so coming out of this detox, 
um, tomorrow night is going to be a, a lovely dinner um, of whatever I choose on the menu that's vegan vegetarian um, and then after that I'm going to continue with the smoothie at breakfast I will just start adding in some hemp seeds I might add in some avocado um, and some things like that my lunches I will start the week with some lentils in my lunch I have really awesome lentil salad that was given to me by my dad's girlfriend Sean Sean Rocco I love you to pieces I can't wait to try this salad um, I will make it and post some photos and the recipe for everybody um, and then towards the end of the week that salad I will actually do it with some fresh fish in it as well uh, cooked fish so um, whatever is my top fish which I think at the moment is actually cod and salmon for my genetics right now and then during the night times I've actually found this really awesome coconut um, coconut ginger turmeric leek fennel I'm going to add some carrot in there and some broccolini and that's like a broth so it's like a tonic broth um, it's, it's classed as a detox in itself so I'm going to ease my week out with that and then the following week I'll be back into general eating which is um, a, an average breakfast easily digested my lunch is when I eat like a queen um, I eat like a if I'm going to have my protein it will be at lunchtime um, with a nice beautiful bunch of veggies whether it be salads whether it be something well cooked and then dinner times is generally for a diplomat health type is best to be vegetarian vegan or if you are doing a lot of heavy weight lifting and whatnot um, it would be uh, some fish some easily digested proteins at night time so fish egg things like that um, what else what else what else and I'm really excited. So I haven't had much physical activity the first week. I did a fair bit of physical activity. Um, I still did my weightlifting. This last week, I have done minimum exercise um, because I've just really gone with it. My body's needed a fair bit of rest. So I've just kept it quite cool, calm and collected. Um and left it at that. But I can't wait for next week. It will be incredible as soon as I start. Because the things like lentils are so incredible for the brain right because it's full of so much pa uh, potassium magnesium nickel um, all these incredibly vital phytonutrients for the brain and for the body um, and then when I start adding in some fish as well um, my body is just going to skyrocket with strength so I'm excited to get into the gym next week and smash out some epic deadlifts get back into all of my lifts in the new gym that we've got at Yatla um, and really smash it out so detoxing is really really awesome my goal was wasn't to lose shite loads of weight but I did manage to lose six kilos in the process um, I really wanted to clean out my digestion I really wanted to improve my skin I really wanted to improve my brain function and I wanted to kick a bunch of the shitty habits that I would picked up um, of wanting dessert every night of craving sugar of buying those extra bits and pieces while I was driving around and having those naughty snacks um, I knew it was time that I really had a bit of a clear out and a clean out and just allow my body to relax so so um, the detoxes don't always mean um, to take everything away. It's really about giving the body a chance to recover and reset, reset itself so that you can get going. And this time of the year is kind of really perfect for a lot of people. So um, if you're someone who's sat there and gone, oh, this is really interesting. I'd like to know more about this. Just know that 14, 12 to 14 days of um, doing the detox that I have is only specific to our diplomat health types. There are five other health types and they are all very different. Some of them is smoothies for three to four days some of them's no protein for a couple of days some of them's no fat for a couple of days um, it's very very individual and you really do need to make sure that you are coached through this I'm doing this video for Ken Karen and Emma because they are three diplomats who are about to start detoxing as well um, so I just wanted to create this for you guys I look forward to any questions that you guys have um, please post it in here and I'd happily assist you in any way whether it's some flavor combinations you might need um, you can do anything from roasting some vegetables, steaming some vegetables, and keeping some vegetables raw, um, always raw, um, because raw is the main component. But the main thing is about chewing. So I hope you guys, anyone watching this, I hope you have some feedback on different bits and pieces of um, uh, about uh, different preparation styles and flavors. Anything that comes up, please reach out to me. I'm happy to help anyone in this process because it is so nurturing and so beneficial and really empowering so um peace out have a great sunday night because we're almost done um and it's so great to be back here in this space with you all thanks ken